Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. This is going to be for um, Pisces for October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what your shadow work is, your, your shadow side is. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically that's getting in touch with a part of yourself that you repress. This is... Um, a side that we all have. This is our dark side. Part of our healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth is getting in touch with that. We're going to see what that looks like to you, and then we'll finish off the to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. All right, so tell me about uh, Pisces. Pisces is shadow work. Shadow side for Pisces. Tell me about Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces, shadow work, shadow side. For October 2023, for Pisces, we have the world card in the reverse here. Um, when, that, when I see that, there's a lack of moving on. There's a lack of forward movement here. So some of you guys tend to hold on to things or maybe hold on to the past here. Yeah, there's a lack of like accepting the truth or accepting or or, 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 or there's a lack of closure here. Uh, you know, I, I, I just feel like there's an energy of like feeling st like being stuck, you know, being stuck in the nostalgia, being stuck in the past, being, you know, and just not letting go. Let's see what else we have. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse here. Four of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles, okay. So we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone here, had, there's a lack of drive, there's a lack of motivation here. It's almost like someone here is like really stuck, really stuck, can't seem to move forward. I, I feel like it has something to do with someone's living situation here too that's causing this too. Yeah, and maybe it's where you live. Maybe it's the apartment building that you live in, the house that you live in, the actual location that you live in, the city or the town, the street that you live in. Something is keeping you from actually experiencing, you know, prosperity, you know, uh, experiencing, you know, just good things, yeah. But it's almost like a lack of forward movement. There's something in the earth. There's something like with the vortex here regarding a living situation that someone's in here, okay? So tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? And the Empress, Libra Taurus. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, I, you know, I feel like the lack of moving on the lack of closure has something to do with like a, a passing of a parent here. Yeah, it's almost like something, someone is keeping, like, it's a tra it's a deep-seated trauma here that someone here experienced where someone passed away prematurely, prematurely, unexpectedly, and there's a lack of letting go or moving on. And this is affecting all areas of someone's life here. Some of the two of ones. We have the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy. It came out in the reverse, by the way. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. There's just a lack of forward movement. There's a lack of trust in the process here. Yeah. I, I almost get the feeling that someone here uh, consistently lives in fear almost. Yeah. The trauma has really affected someone from really actually like going out there to enjoy life, you know, living life in the moment, you know, going to travel and stuff like that, hanging out with friends, you know, taking the bus, you know, taking a cab or something like that. These, these little things like that, because I feel like someone here is like, I almost get the feeling that someone here like really dreads going outside or something like that. I mean, this could be something that you dealt with or that there's someone in and around you that's dealing with this, it could be this parent that experienced that too with the King of Pentacles or the Four of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles here and the Five of Cups. There's some deep grief that needs to be moved here in order for you to move forward here, Pisces. This is something that you have to drop into. This is something that you have to fall into here. There's some deep grief that's not being moved. 
And once the grief is moved, that full card, that Ace of Pentacles, that Ace of Wands will be in the upright. Yeah. It will be in the upright. It's in the reverse. Tell me about Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for, work on for October 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Saturn, all the planets. It could be in any of your placements. You have the devil here and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Capricorn energy, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Hierophant here in the Nine of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands and the Magician. Eight of Wands, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Nine of Wands, a Hierophant here. I feel like because someone here had a hard time letting go, I almost get the feeling that this soul had a hard time moving on. This soul is also still holding on. This soul that passed away. Yeah. Let's see, tell me the devil here. This is actually, this is not really good because if the soul passed away and it's still holding on because you're holding on, that means the soul never had closure. Yeah, this soul never had closure with the Three of Cups and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Kings of Queen of Swords here. Because of this, this is interesting because I feel like this person on the other side and you in the 3D here in this plane, some you guys are creating like a strong vortex because of the lack of letting go. And I actually feel like this is bringing in bad spirits or something like that. Yeah, the Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. You know, one of the things I'm getting here because of what you're going through, it's actually... It's actually creating a bit of a block or some sort of distortion in your gifts here. Some of you guys are really gifted. Yeah, I don't know why. Something, a portal is being created here. Yeah, there's a portal here for somebody. I mean, this is, seems like a very specific message. Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, the Magician, and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are really slow to change. Yeah. There's a lack of forward movement here. Yeah, there's a lack of acceptance here. There's a lack of trusting that, you know, even though, like, you know, losing someone is a horrible experience, it's part of the process, you know, part of the grand design in a way. And I feel like there's a lack of trusting that or accepting that or finding closure <coughs> in that. Okay, like I said, you... And this other spirit, this person that passed away, it actually, the lack of letting go between the two, you created the portal in, in your living space or something like that. Yeah. So that portal needs to be closed because like I said, there are spirits coming through it. Yeah. So yeah, the only way that this will get better is if you let go or that the spirit lets go. But it ha has to happen on your own time. You have to actively decide that you want that for yourself. You know, so Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.